What's going on, bro? Man, how you doing? You know, how are you doing? You know, I'm hoping everything is going good for you, fam. I'm just glad to be back in the store again, you know? Oh, man, I am doing fantastic. Doing great. I got the day off work today, bro. So um, I'm feeling good, man. I'm just grateful that, that we're back on our grind, bro. Like, to be completely honest, this feels good to be making these episodes um, every day if we can. And um, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much where I'm at, bro. Absolutely, man. You know, it's definitely a blessing. Say hi to the doggy. But I got to take, oh, take the dog out, ladies and gentlemen. All right. All right. I can't have the uh the doggy sit on daddy's lap right now. But yeah, I got the day off work today uh as well too. You know, we were gonna go to the job site, but uh the grass there it's like it's not high enough. You know, it doesn't need to be cut. It's like it's, yeah. it's on a pause or something, like it's not growing. So we got the day off today. And okay. I'm just grateful to get, you know, an episode knocked out earlier. You know, we both are definitely lined up right now and can put in the work that we need for the day and get it done and over with and get accomplished out here, fam. You feel me? Absolutely, bro. We yeah. got a lot of stuff that, uh, and a lot of downloads that, you know, I feel like we both went through a period to where, you know, we weren't doing as many podcasts. We were both kind of going through different things in our own personal lives so i feel like now we have a lot of stuff that we could bring to the table you know we can we can chop it up and kind of talk about a lot of different things that we've learned you know throughout the past couple months of course yeah i feel like it, it all happened for a reason you know uh the big homie upstairs of course has us go through things for a reason like he had us stop making podcasts um uh, for obviously for a reason so we can uh endure life i suppose and then come back with a vengeance banger like we are right now just dropping um back-to-back -back episodes out here and i'm just glad to be doing this and glad to um just move forward there's no other way to say that just moving forward and getting back to what we do best yeah absolutely man absolutely i'm excited for this one bro this is, this is gonna be a good one Facts. You already know, fam. Let me get that intro knocked out before I forget. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the Unchained Podcast, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy, Spirit War Martin, along with his podcast partner, Self Conscious. Ooh, we always put God first and become your inner lion in this crooked matrix and spiritual warfare, y'all. Boy, listen here. Hey. Hey, 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 chopping hey, hey, them hey, up hey. like sushi, like we said last episode. Stop chopping the sushi up for the people. <laughs> chopping it, bro. Uh, Facts. Well, cool, man. Let's uh, let's cut right to the chase, as you always like to say. All right. Let's get into it, man. Topic number one, episode one twenty-seven. What are your thoughts? on having an ego mind. I know you made this topic. Uh, what do you mean by that, having an ego mind? Uh, what I mean by having an ego mind is, you know, how we like to say eagles fly with eagles. And when you have an ego mind, you think, you think on a deeper aspect of things. You know, you don't have a uh, small-minded bird thoughts, as I like to say. You're thinking about accomplishing big things, and not worrying about the small things that could possibly annoy you or take you off track. You know, just having an all around strong mind to just do um, very productive things. And mm -hmm. looking at my old self, I definitely had like a small minded bird mindset. Um, we all have, you know, all of us retainers, you know, before we got on SR and was obviously participating in the corn sites and the lust, we all had small minded, um, bird uh you know small-minded bird thought process out here because social anxiety not able to be creative not able to come up with ideas you know and now since we're on sr we're out here flying like eagles bro and look at what we're doing now podcast and connecting with um other sr journeymen out there that's on a higher spiritual plane as well that's that's flying with eagles the way i see it bro yeah you know what i'm saying Absolutely, man. I, that's, I, you know, that makes a ton of sense. And I uh, couldn't agree with you more. Um, 
It reminds me of that the, the book that I started reading that I told you about. It's called The Magic of Thinking Big. And it really has me thinking, bro. You know, uh, and to any of the viewers, I would really recommend uh, copying this book and opening it. There's an audiobook version on YouTube as well that you can listen to for free. But uh, it's a it's a it's a, a legendary book. I don't know when it was written, but um, it's all about essentially this, you know, having a having a mindset to where that's what it is. You know, it's called the magic of thinking big. So it's getting us into a place to where we literally get ourselves, you know, you, you basically, you know, retrain your mind to right. essentially be thinking, you know, like an eagle, like eagle mm-hmm. mind, but putting your, putting your thoughts on different things and actually reaching for, you know, big goals, bro. And, and kind of tossing away, uh, a lot of the stuff that gets people tripped up, which is kind of like uh, the mundane little petty stuff that happens throughout life. You know, we talked about it on our last podcast, but basically the, the book talks about how um, that's what it takes, you know, for us to be successful is for us to set our minds on um, positive things, you know, developing a positive mindset. You know, a lot of people talk about that, but also um essentially forcing yourself to have productive days, you know, just like what you said, right. Finding a routine for yourself, you know, finding a blueprint for your day that you know is going to work. And essentially, um, you know, if you catch these bad thoughts or you catch, you know, some weird stuff going on, you, you basically attack that and you fight it with, um, positive thinking or positive thoughts and, you know, basically get yourself to a place where you're getting really good at, smashing that little demon that's on your shoulder you know i know we talk about it a lot but you've got the angel and the demon and getting into a place where you're not going to let that demon really affect you as much as as you used to i know it's not uh it's hard to be perfect and it's hard you know we all have our moments and spiritual attacks but um i believe that we can really like it's almost like a skill you know you can almost get into a place where you can train your mind to where you can you know, you get better and better at it to where you don't let the spiritual attacks get to you as bad because you know, deep down that you're a a strong individual. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. It's all about the mind. As I like to say, uh, reprogramming the mind, the thing like an ego out here and not let, you know, the demons or the dark energy that we get on our shoulders that uh, try to plant seeds of, you know, darkness or try to take us off our track and all this just bizarre stuff when you uh don't let that bother you and you keep moving forward yeah you become a savage out here and like i said you'll link up with other individuals that operate this way as well and the way i see that that's a blessing because like i said i never used to be like this wanting to uh accomplish things get the dopamine to fire off and feel good after putting in work bro that is man it's hard to explain but i'm glad i'm doing that today there's no other way to um, say that. And you know what else the book says? The book, the book uh, that I'm reading, it says um, that that's basically what really successful people do, bro, is they basically get addicted to, to what you just described. You know, yeah. like you, you really get into this zone where, you know, you basically, yeah, that's all you want to do is uh, once you find your mission, that's all you want to do is just continue to smash out goals and get that feeling of accomplishment and you know one step every single day eventually you're going to be successful bro and that's um for a lot of people it's it's not it's kind of a hard road to get to that place you know i feel like a lot of people struggle with finding out what they want to do and so they'll they'll end up just kind of be floating around and um so i would really suggest to any of the viewers to really take some time and figure out what what it is that you want to do in your life right figure out some time and figure out what you're good at you know I, for the longest time i had a problem with you know i didn't have a purpose either you know so i was out here uh just aimlessly doing things you know and then that ended up me leading to doing low vibrational stuff because i didn't really have direction you know i didn't really have a purpose mm-hmm. so it's important for us to you know pray and meditate and Figure out what you're good at. Figure out what you would like to actually put your energy into in life. Figure out your mission, you know, from God and figure out, yeah, take some time because we can all figure that out. You know, it's like, 
it's hard to, to, to figure it out, you know, when you're younger, but you know, it, it's, it's kind of easy, man. Like just figure out what you love to do, right. Figure out what you like to do and figure out what you're good at and then figure out a way right. for you to go all in on that. That's the truth. You know, it's just all around blessing when you, uh, you know, figure out what your purpose is and lock in on it and just keep attacking it every single day. And you, uh, like you said, you just enjoy doing that and you just do not want to stop. You want to just keep applying pressure, as we like to say, keep applying pressure on the enemy, this dark yep. energy that likes to play mind games. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we, the way we operate being on SR, we're never going to let them win. No. You feel me? And bro, I saw a really good video uh, from Kobe the other day. He basically said, and I know that, you know, we both love Kobe Bryant and uh, super inspirational, super inspirational cat. But he, he basically was saying that uh, it's pointless to, to think about if you're going to be successful or not. You know, once you figure out your mission, Kobe was saying it's pointless to even think about if you're going to be successful. He said it's basically all about just putting in the work and seeing if it happens, you know, so it's pointless to kind of like go through your head and get that, you know, he was talking about self doubt. So it, you know, he said doubting is a waste of energy, you know, cause if you, right. once you've actually found what you want to do, it's all about just putting in that work every day and seeing what, seeing what manifests there's no, you know, and if it doesn't happen, so be it, you know, wake up the next day and try again. You know, it's, he's, yeah. he's, he's basically saying that it's pointless for us to sit and stew over whether or not we're going to make it or not. Yeah, that's the truth. It's the absolute truth. That's what I've come to realize is just keep pushing forward every single day and just keep putting in the work and not think about the finish line slash championship. It's the journey. You know, yeah. everything is not going to happen just like that or right away. You got to put in the work every single day and see what manifests. Absolutely. And that's what it's all about is the journey mm -hmm. and putting in the work, you know, every single Facts. day. And eventually you're going to start seeing some blessings, you know, especially if you're, if you're putting God first and you're staying obedient. That's the truth. Absolutely. So, all right, my boy, we're on to the next one here. What is topic number two? What is your thought on moving is medicine? Um, Moving is medicine. Moving is medicine is the absolute truth because it's important to uh, make sure that you're not stagnant and just sitting around and not moving that energy that we have on the inside because the way we operate is all energy, bro. And when um, you're not moving it around, that's when the enemy comes in. You know, no idle minds, bro. Uh, stay on the move, stay disciplined, stay busy, have a routine and put in work every day, no matter what it is. You know, we have people out there that do music, people out there that, um, yeah, just whatever you're doing, you know, whatever you got going on, keep moving the energy around to get stuff accomplished. It's not good to uh, sit around, like I said, and have stagnated energy because it causes like I said, the enemy to come in and create bad thoughts for us out here. Yeah. And it'll lead you to make bad decisions out here. Mm -hmm. And that's how I was looking at my old self before I got on this righteous pathway and journey, bro. And was making all types of mistakes out here in this video game we live in. You know, my report card had all Fs. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Just out here failing, bro. And right. now I'm on the honor road because I got that tunnel vision and focused yeah. on accomplishing things and staying out of the way of people who put off uh dark energy and not uh setting accomplishments for themselves because it's just going to destroy you when you put yourself around that type of energy yeah you know what i mean absolutely bro and um i chose this topic for us today because lately um this is really you know i've always been into fitness and exercise and things like that and I've been blessed in that in that regard. Right. I've been, you know, I've been going to the gym for like 10 plus years. Even when I wasn't on SR, I was still working out. You know, I've always kind of understood that working out makes me feel good. It's one of my one of my favorite things that I like to do, you know, makes my body feel good. But it's been such a deep realization to me that um 
moving our body is is medicine for us bro not only does it help us physically but it's it's almost more uh like medicine for our mental health you know when we when we can physically move our body you know go on a run go on a bike ride you know and i'm talking on a daily basis you know and this is why my mom always used to say when i was a kid my mom always used to say i'd be like oh i'm bored or i don't feel good my mom always used to say why don't you go run around the block you know my mom <laughs> Like that was always her answer. And I'd get so upset with her, bro. Cause I'd be like, stop saying that. You know, she'd be like, why don't you go around, run around the neighborhood real quick. I'm like, I don't want to do that. You know, but now I understand why she said that because mm -hmm. it's medicine. It'll help fire off endorphins, you know? And, you know, as human beings, bro, we're meant to move. Our, our bodies are designed to move. That's why we have joints. You know what I mean? And that's why we'll end up getting overweight and we'll end up getting, um, unhealthy when we don't move so i think it's very important for us and and for all the viewers to really you know you guys really need to get into a habit to where you have a pretty disciplined fitness routine bro and i'm talking every single day you're going out there whether you're doing weightlifting, you know i that's what i do I, I lift weights and i'll do cardio you know i have a bike i don't have a car so i bike everywhere i go that's my cardio and then I'll do like circuit training, you know, where I'm lifting weights, but I'm doing it pretty fast where I'm working up a sweat, you know, and I'm, I'm doing that stuff every single day, bro. And uh, I recently, you know, started this push up challenge too, where it's, I'd be posting videos and it's just to keep the, uh, keep the integrity and keep myself disciplined. But I've been posting, I'm doing this push up challenge to where I try to beat my record every single day. And that's just to keep myself moving, bro, because I know that it translates you know i know that right. moving the body translates to our mental health bro so it's huge man and you know anybody that that is on sr i feel like you're cheating yourself if you're not getting into a place where you're moving your body on a daily basis you know even I mean, even a small amount will help but i would suggest getting into a spot where you're really really going hard yeah absolutely and me, I do calisthenics every day, you know, like uh, pull ups and dips and push ups like that. I lift weights here and there, but I like to do a lot of body weight workouts and I do that every yeah. day. And another thing that's beneficial about that, it seems, especially on SR, when you uh, work out every day and move that energy around. Yeah, like you said, it um, resets your mind to where you will all around feel better, but it also like changes your blood as well like your blood changes and it becomes like, it's hard to explain, but it changes your blood and your blood flow rises as well. You know what I'm yep. saying? And that also helps you be able to move better out here too. That's what yep. I've come to realize. Cause after I work out, I feel all around better. You know, yeah. like like how we used to be as kids out and out at recess. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. Yeah, get the heart, the heart pumping and stuff and the blood flowing. That stuff is good for you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Not only not only will it be fuel for you on a daily basis to enhance your mood, but it can also pull you out of a lot of different things. It can pull you out of spiritual attacks and it can pull you out of getting urges, you know, it can pull you out right. of having, when you're feeling lustful, you know, when you're on semen retention and you, you know, maybe you catch yourself edging, you know, God forbid, or you, Ooh, we, you know man. what I'm saying? You start getting to this, you know, it, Trust me, you know, me and Martin have both been on the journey for a while. We know how it gets. It can get hard, yeah. but that one of exercise is one of your weapons. Literally going outside, doing something, dropping down and doing push ups, doing some squats, anything like that is pretty much like uh like you know, that the eject button in a in a in a plane or something, it'll send you right out and it'll it'll sometimes it'll save you from some of these spiritual attacks and urges and stuff like that facts this is the truth and another thing that i noticed is, is shoot doing squats and leg workouts that is important to boost testosterone bro because yeah. before i got on this sr journey i literally had chicken legs bro like i had was skipping leg day like crazy now i you know work my legs out every day and feel just fantastic bro after doing leg workouts and all around calisthenics in general it's a blessing man yeah. there's no other way to say it yeah, bro. All your testosterone stores up in your glutes and in your legs. So when you do legs and when you do uh, deadlifts or anything that hits your your glutes, um, 
that's going to help send testosterone to the rest of your body. So that's why, you know, people always say don't skip leg day. You know, they make fun of people that got skinny legs or whatever, but it's, it's, it's a deeper thing. It's because it sends uh, the testosterone to the rest of your muscles. So super important to hit your legs, hit your glutes, you know, that lower region, because that's where a lot of our testosterone gets stored. Absolutely. That's the truth. It's the truth, bro. Yeah. Facts. So great job, man. Uh, on to the next one here, bro. Topic number three. What are your thoughts on battling the inner bitch? I, I chose this one and uh, shout out to Joe Rogan. That's kind of what he says. The inner bitch, the inner voice. Um, basically lately, bro, what I've, what I've um, come to the realization is I have this voice inside of me that tries to keep me down. You know, we've, we've talked about it a lot before and I feel like everybody has this voice, you know, it's like the demon and the, uh, the angel analogy, but right. it's gotten to the point lately to where it gets me so pissed off, bro, because even today, even still on SR, I can let it get to me, you know, I can let it get to a place where I slide, you know, I'm making videos or podcasts or doing the things that I know I need to be doing, you know, my mm -hmm. work on time and stuff. So lately i've been getting into this mode to where and it's it's also since i've been reading that that new book you know because it talks about this too but basically waking up every day and making it a goal to essentially just smash that voice you know when you wake up because if you're anything like me sometimes that voice starts right away you know i'll wake up and it happened to me this morning you know i had some clothes uh on my floor i just moved into to my place and i had these clothes that i don't normally wear that much so I had them kind of on the floor in my room and it just like the voice in my head said to leave them there you know what I mean and then and then I immediately said you know no I'm gonna clean them right now so like I, I try to do that on a daily basis to where anytime that the voice kind of pops up where it says don't do something that's when I know that I have to, to do that thing immediately yeah yeah you're absolutely right bro because I go through this as well as soon as this pops up to where you get this in your mind to where it's like it tries to um you know talk you into doing stuff later type stuff or like you know oh let's do this later and as soon as that happens to me i'm like hell no we ain't going for that shit. i'm doing it right now and getting it done you know so i don't have to worry about it later you know that's why you know it's important to make sure you know for me i make sure i'm always on top of the dishes or whatever's going on in the house keeping stuff clean you know and because you always get that voice that'll just tell you to do it later and then you'll end up not doing it later and it just gets exactly. worse and worse over time you know exactly. like, as soon as it comes up you know it's like yeah you battle your mind and i attack it and i make sure that i always win because i look at that as like being the enemy bro this dark energy yeah this uh the devil and his you know trump army or his agents or whatever that he sends to us to go into our mind to keep us from doing the stuff we need to do i always yeah. slay him bro i don't go for that yeah it's it's that's what it is is it's an effort to try to turn us into like a half-assed person you know? right he's trying to make us into you know i mean basically like that's how it was my old self that's literally how i was i was lazy kept my room dirty and it almost triggers something in my mind to where, cause I, I'm a new person now. I really am. So it's like, it reminds me of that old self. I'm like, Oh, Ooh, exactly wait. what you said. I'm like, hell no. Like we're, you know, it, it, it really bugs me. It gets to my spirit because sometimes it does happen. You know, maybe I'll be tired and then like, you know, I'll let that voice win and then I'll wake up the next day and it just, it gets to me, bro. And what that does every time that we beat this, <clears throat> this voice, uh, it sharpens us, you know, not only are we getting these things done, but it molds us into a person that does it on that we're going to get into a place where we can do it automatically. You know, yeah. I'll, no I'll notice myself doing it at work too. There's certain things where like, I could possibly like take a shortcut and maybe not, not do like certain little details. Right. And I could get away with it. But now I'm in a place in my mind, I'm, I know that that's going to translate somewhere else in my life. I'm like, oh, if I'm taking a shortcut on this little thing, I'm going to be willing to do it on something bigger, you know, and then that's where right. that, that means that it's going to just keep stacking up and I'm going to end up taking shortcuts. And like, I don't want to be that. I don't want to be that guy. bro. 
Absolutely, man. And plus, on top of that, it uh, trains your mind to become like super disciplined out here. You become a super disciplined savage out here and don't, you know, tolerate, like you said, half assness. Cause yeah, it reminds of us our uh, reminds of uh, uh, us of our old selves. Cause the way yeah. I was, man, having energy, empty energy drinks, uh, cans and shit around, and paper plates and you know plastic forks around, just sitting. Uh, even the the, the red cups, you know, the little <laughs> red plastic cups to have them all over the place and stuff. And, and yeah, it you know it makes me uh think of that and I don't ever want to be like that again so I'll make sure I get the shit done that I need to get done right then and there so you don't have to worry about it later because like I said when you let this um these mind games or this voice that inner bitch get into your mind and be like oh let's do it later you are sabotaging yourself you are bro oh we yeah. absolutely man and I'm grateful for that now because I still feel the resistance. Like I still have that moment to where like it really tries to get you, you know, it's like something like say I'll have to like go do some kind of errand or something. I'll got to go to the DMV and renew my license or I'll have to go just do some petty little errand. I really don't want to do it. You know, it's like, ugh, like, but I get my ass out and I go do it, you know, yep. and it just, it makes me feel so much better afterwards. Cause it, you're basically beating, you're basically battling your demon that's i feel like that's what it is it's fighting demons yeah it's like fighting demons and doing fighting yourself you know because we are our worst enemy bro we battle ourselves every day yeah you know what i'm saying so when you defeat yourself you are a damn savage out here and you know exactly. we have the inner workings of the dark energy and the enemy you know demons or whatever you want to call this dark source of energy they play a part in this too but we got to have the strong mind out here to understand this and not let it defeat us and keep accomplishing things and doing the shit that we need to do out here. And the reason why I picked this topic is because I feel like my life has turned into like the entire objective of my life is now battling these demons. Like when I wake <laughs> up on a daily basis, like I literally feel like the objective of my life is just to because now I have discernment. And I have self-awareness. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I can go around and I can, I'm very self-aware. So I, I know what's going on. And if I'm like, oh, you know, I, I feel resistance towards feeling, picking up these clothes or I feel resistance towards going to the gym today. I recognize all these little things as little demons trying to keep me down. You right. know? So now every single day I wake up and I'm literally just, just whacking shit, bro. You know, and it's just like, okay, as soon as I feel that resistance, immediately go do that thing yeah and that's that's important because like i said we all go through this but a lot of us out here don't understand this you know this this inner bitch that we have that strays us away from being productive being disciplined having a routine out here and making ourselves feel all around better by uh, doing it getting it done you know what i'm saying instead of wait waiting and waiting until later when later yeah. basically never happens Exactly. It could be anything. It could be if you're if you're if you're trash, you're, you know, your garbage can is full and then you walk past it and you're like, oh, I need to go take that out. And you're like, oh, I'll do it later tonight. Right. No, do it right now. And then put, put the new put the new trash bag in the thing. Do it. Do it right away. On everything, bro. That's the truth. Yeah. Just do it right then and there. As soon as you see it, you'd be like, yeah, I need to take that out. Do it right then and there. And yeah. It seems like whenever that happens, that damn voice comes up to where it's like, I'll do it later. That is that is the worst downfall ever for us out here. Because I used to let that shit happen to me so much, bro. That's yeah. why I don't allow that shit now. Bro, it grows and it grows into bigger things. That's why it's important. Someone might hear this and think, oh, it's not that big of a deal to, you know, take the trash out at 5 p.m. or 7 p.m. But it, 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 it it's it's everything matters you know in the spiritual realm and it's going to translate into other areas of your life and it's because you allowed yourself to take a shortcut right and the way i see it it doesn't really matter what time you take it out you don't have to have a specific time it's when you actually see when you see that it needs to be done that's when you need to do it you exactly. know what i'm saying when you like we like the garbage for example if you see that and you be like damn i need to take that out that's when you need to do it and not let later 
try to uh, happen, you know? That do it later mentality will, will kill you, bro. Oh, wait. It did work. It whooped my ass looking at my old self. I'll exactly. put that on everything. It was it whooped my ass. And I don't ever want to go back to that. And being on SR helps me, you know, not go back to that. I keep moving forward and being productive. And that's a blessing. Absolutely, bro. Oh, wait. All right, man. Moving forward here. Topic number four. What are your thoughts on nine to five jobs while you're on semen retention and how to deal with uh, potentially having a nine to five job? Um, it's definitely bizarre and strange because nine to five jobs are very low vibrational and you'll have some weird coworkers up in there that are trying to sabotage you and all types of stuff. You gotta have very good discernment in job, uh, job nine to five jobs because coworkers are not your friend you know, people at the nine to five job are not really your friends. So you got to make sure that you are paying attention to what's really going on and how people behave around you. Because I yeah. had a couple of subscribers that talked about how they had some weird co-workers at their job that was putting off incredible amounts of dark energy towards them. And it seems like that happens when you're on SR because you're obviously on a high vibration. So you will come across some low vibration in there and it could be some tension. It yeah. seems, and they try to pull your confidence down. They see you're confident at your job, and it, it rattles them on the inside, and they'll try to sabotage that, or yeah. they'll try to do some do shit to try to take you out of your character. And then when you check them and let them know that you're not the one to be messed with, they'll go to the HR office and tell on you on some petty shit. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like they try to find a reason to tell on you or something at these nine to five yeah. jobs because it happened to me at my last job with somebody that was like trying to be like a bully or whatever and just just abusing power and i told them i'm not the one to be messed with in here so don't don't even try me they went to the right, damn right. office and told <laughs> went to the <laughs> office and told right and uh the people in the office asked me what happened and i told them exactly what happened what do i gotta lie for i told them what i said i told them that i told this person that i'm not the one to be messed with and they actually all laughed and I, you know, I, I didn't even lose my job. They sent me right back to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, I told you about the, I, I mean, you remember that last job that I had? I got, I got fired from it, bro. From those people, you know? Yeah. The last job that I was at, I remember I would pull up to work and, you know, these, I worked with this crew of dudes and, uh, I was sweeping it under the rug for a little bit, you know, cause I, you know, I, I got this job at this restaurant, you know, that's what I do. I, I'm, I'm a cook, right? You know, I've worked at, at all these different restaurants like the last two years or something like that. I've gotten pretty, pretty good at being a cook, bro. And I, I basically moved into this restaurant and um, there's three different positions, right? Like when you work at like an American style restaurant, like you got somebody that's on the fryer cooking like the fries. And then you have someone who's building like with the, um, all the vegetables and like making sandwiches. And then you have someone on the grill, you know, and the, and the grill is like the, the spot that like the, the best guy is on, you know? Right. And it usually takes some time to get move up to the grill to where you're grilling all the meat and you're doing all that really fast. And basically I had graduated to the grill like within like a couple of days, you know, because they had seen and I had experience, right? And the dudes who were normally on the grill, they started to get uh, jealous of me and stuff like that, you know, or, yeah. or whatever it is, whatever emotion that they uh, that, that that created with the boss, you know, wanting me to be on the grill. And then they got, I don't know, just weird stuff. And I didn't even care. You know, I was willing to be wherever, but the boss wanted me to be on the grill because I was really fast at it. Right. You know? And then all of a sudden they started, you know, sneak dissing and doing all this weird stuff. And then they started uh, forming this little clique. And then they basically, you know, started talking crap about me. And, and uh, it's, all, it's just all energy, bro. Like when you go somewhere uh, and people aren't really, you know, they don't really have emotional intelligence and they don't have control of their emotions. And then they're, they're going to start getting jealous, intimidated, uh, all this type of stuff. But, you know, you can't let it affect you, bro. And that was the craziest thing that had happened to me because I they eventually told the 
the GM and he fired me, you know? And I'm like, what? Like, and then my, my manager had actually messaged me the next day and he texted me and he was like, I'm so sorry that this happened to you, but you, you know, you're a really great worker. He's like, I have no idea why they're even firing you. That's basically what he told me. Yeah, it's out of envy. It's out of envy and jealousy because you went in there very confident and was rising to the top real fast. And the people that was in there already seen your potential and it intimidated them. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was it was a, it was a bunch of weird spiritual stuff going on. Weird as hell, bro. That's how it is. And you know what? Somebody that has, you know, spiritual, uh, you know, spiritual connection and, and basically is self-aware they would have viewed me as a uh, as an asset. Yeah, they would have used it because they, they, when you come across somebody that operates in the spirit and wants the best for people, yeah, he would have definitely propelled you to the top. But most of the time, it's all low vibrational people at these jobs. And when they see somebody who has the light in them, they get intimidated, they get jealous, they get envious. They'd be like, oh, this guy thinks he's better than us. And that's why yeah. those guys clicked up against you because they seen the potential in you and you were confident. So it made them feel insecure. It's weird, it's weird as hell, but that's how it is. It's all when you look at the the spiritual aspect of shit, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we just it's weird, bro. Nine to five jobs on SR is strange. This is a low vibrational and, environment. You know what else? There's one more point I wanted to make on this is that. A lot of people that don't have a connection with God and a lot of people that kind of live worldly, they they basically form their entire identity on this job. You know, yeah. it's like they have this, you know, and I know that you've spoken on it in a couple of your videos, but, you know, these people like like it's like their entire life is their jobs. Right. So they don't have any other like they don't put God first. So it's like they put their job first. So they, they pull up to their job. And they're like, oh, you know, I've been at this, I've been at this job for 10 years. So you're going to, you know, they're not the boss, right? They're just a regular right. worker since they've been there. And since they identify with this job so much, they think they have the position to boss you around because they have seniority and they have all this stuff. And it's like, they've created this storyline in their mind. It's not even real. You know, they, they don't have the authority. To, they're literally not the boss. They just, it's, they formed it in their mind because their identity, their entire life is like this job. You know what I'm saying? It's the truth, bro. It's the truth. It's almost like they, when it comes to the spirit, they don't have no spirit or no authenticity. It's just like empty vessels damn near. And they put their life into these jobs and think that they're the boss when they're just foot soldiers. And it's real bizarre to just sit back and see that shit. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, um, at my OG's job, they had like this moment where they were, uh, you know, off for a period of time because they're remodeling on the inside of the company. So yeah. they've been off for a bit. And it's people that's in this job uh, where she works that put their life so far into this job to where they ended up like passing away, bro. Like five people died that my mom works with at wow. her job because they had this moment in time where they were off because they were remodeling on the inside going to electric cars. You know what I mean? Uh, going from gas to electric cars and people that worked in there for so long that literally put their life into this job died, bro. Like five of them. Wow. Yeah, it's because they put, they sink their mind so far into the shit to where whenever they don't uh, go into that job environment for a, for a period of time, they lose their shit. Yeah. Yeah. And that's kind of, you know, I can kind of relate with them a little bit because sometimes like, like I've told you before, like when I go to work, like on the days that I work, I usually have a pretty good day, you know, cause I have like a, a purpose and I have a direction, right. To go to work. And then sometimes on my days off, I struggle with things to fill my day with. I feel right. like it's, it's that concept, but they're on like a way more extreme version of it. Yeah, it's way more extreme. Like, it's yeah. literally, it's it's real deep. They put their life so deep into these nine to five jobs to where it's, yeah, it's like being programmed. And when they, yeah, it's just, it's weird. But I know you feel me on that. It's, it's a deeper aspect to this. And it's just bizarre, bro. Because like I said, you know, five people ended up passing away 
from this period of time where they were off from the company and stuff because they had to remodel on the inside because they were so used to like going to work every single day. And most of these people was married, bro. Right. That's what I said. They don't they don't put their they don't put God first, they put their job first. Oh we that's dangerous, fam. It is. You know, then they have that term workaholic too. That's real, bro. Yeah, that is real. That's real, and it's just, it's all around bizarre, man, and it's its sad, bro, because I don't wish that on anybody, but when you sit back and see this shit, you know, which is a blessing, having that discernment and intuition to see the world for what it really is, operating in the new pair of glasses, as we like to say, it's, it's, it's bizarre out here in the world. Absolutely, bro. Ooh, we. All right, man, that was a great topic. Topic number five. What do you think about connecting with other people on a purpose? Um, that's important. You know, it kind of ties into the eagle mind concept, you know, um, linking up with other people that have an eagle mind so you can be an eagle that flies with eagles and you guys won't have to worry about tearing each other down. You'll just worry about keeping each other up on the higher vibration and stuff. It's no, uh, uh, envy, jealousy, or deceit. We all work together out here as a unit type stuff and coming across people that have a purpose and doing good stuff out there in the world themselves that's a beautiful thing or just all around being a disciplined individual and seeing the world for what it really is you know you don't really have to uh like necessarily be on a serious purpose but if you see life for what it really is and operate on the higher frequency you understand what's going on and what it's like to be an eagle that flies with eagles you know yeah. and when you find this genuine type of disciplined energy you want to stay connected with that shit bro i'll put that on everything it's it's a blessing to just um connect with like-minded people yeah you know it's basically like um it's basically like how do you like to spend your time you know i feel like there's a lot of people out there that potentially you know you get along with you know like mm -hmm. like you have like a spiritual connection but at the end of the day, you guys aren't on the same plane with the way that you behave, you know, like, like you might, you might both like to, you know, play a certain sport or, you know, I have friends that I, I used to like skateboard with back in the day, but then like at the end of the day, you guys don't have the same, you're not on the same spiritual plane. You're not like uh, as disciplined as each other and you're not, you don't have the same work ethic. And that is, um, that's a big deal, bro. You know, because it's just a whole different gear, like I said, to where you're you're waking up and you're doing all these different things to improve your life and advance yourself in life. And this other guy, yeah, you might you guys most uh, might like to go hoop or you might like to go do certain things, play a sport or go to the gym. But this guy over here is spending his free time on the couch playing video games or or watching corn or what i god forbid you know you never know right. but um it's important to link up with people who are have the same mindset as you and basically have they don't have to have the same exact goals but they have to they have to have a similar drive inside yeah. of them to where they're waking up every day and they're striving, you know, they're reaching for things, you know, they're actually being ambitious. You know what I mean? Yeah, being ambitious and like we said, having that drive within you and obviously seeing the world for what it really is out here. So you can be able to connect out here because you both obviously see how this world operates and works and how it's just bizarre out here, you know, and it's it's a small um, percentage it seems of just individuals who can see life for what it really is out here and when you find that after you obviously you know activated or woke up out here awakened and you find other awakened people out here that's on that um higher spiritual plane as i like to say or operating in the new timeline that is a blessing bro and they keep god first too just like you absolutely bro it's yeah it's a totally different it's a totally different ball game you know, when you're, you know, cause you have to force yourself to do these things, you know, for, uh, somebody mm -hmm. who's disciplined and somebody who, who isn't disciplined, it's a very different, li a very different lifestyle. Yeah. It's way different. It's, it's two entirely different 
TV shows or, you know, use TV shows in the, as an example. It's two different, yes, two different engines, two different TV <laughs> shows. It's just all around two different worlds, bro. And you can't, it's like trying to mix water with oil. Mm hmm. And the crazy part is that, you know, some of these people who, who aren't disciplined, but, you know, maybe they're old friends or family members, you know, sometimes they'll try to like tell you what you need to be doing when they're not do they're not putting in the work that you're doing. Right. They try to tell you how to do shit, but they're not even doing anything to better themselves type shit. Exactly. You know, they try to control the way that you do stuff, but they have no control of themselves. That's toxic, fam. I made sure I got away from those kind of people. That's why I operate on the solo pathway and alone, because I've dealt with those kind of people before. Yeah. And I can't be around this shit. I'm just keeping it real because it's just going to pull you down, especially when you know what you want to do. And then they try to um, take you off that track when they're not even in control of their own life. You can't exactly. be around that, fam. Exactly. Oh, we. It's a blessing, man. To, be, to yeah. be around people like this, you know, to have each other and to have other guys that are on semen retention. That's pretty much what it is. Our brothers that are on SR, we all have a purpose, you know, at the core, we're all stand, trying to uh, defeat that lust demon. You know, we're all trying to elevate. So, I mean, that's like a good foundation, you know? Yeah, it is a good foundation. All trying to defeat the lust demon and all around be a better individual and escape far as the consciousness goes out of the damn matrix, bro. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Facts. All right, my boy, we got the grand finale. Uh-oh. Here we go. Dumb, dumb, dumb. <laughs> Topic number six, my boy. This one is called uh, <clears throat> Semen Retention is a Cheat Code for Success. And uh, it's kind of a, a broad topic, but we, we touched on it a little bit on the last one. But uh, basically what I wanted to speak on is how you will elevate your life very fast. And this is why I always suggest going on semen retention to whoever I speak to. If it's other guys that, you know, kind of on similar mindset as me, I always suggest, you know, retaining and uh Cause God, it'll give you like a, a boost in, in life and it'll get you to access that new gear that we always talk about, you know, where all of a sudden you are just traveling at a faster speed and you don't really know what happened. And it's all from retaining that life force. You know, it's all from um, right. staying away from putting your energy into, into releasing and, and chasing women. And, you know, it's like all that energy gets put into, the healthy avenues of your life and let's like i said it's a cheat code and a lot of people are skeptical about it bro you know they don't really understand it <laughs> you know they understand putting down the, the the porn and and masturbating and they understand not meeting up with low vibrational women but they don't really understand the whole aspect of retaining they sometimes they think that it's um you're exaggerating or something until they actually try it and then they're like oh my Oh my gosh! Right? Because <laughs> it only takes it only takes a couple of weeks for you to realize how more dialed in and how focused and the mental clarity and the confidence and all these things we talk about start to set in. You know what I mean? And then then you get hooked, right? You get hooked because yeah. this is this is the truth, bro. Yeah, it is the truth because you know, looking at our old self when we was on them corn sites, how a lot of people are out here, the corn sites operating in lust. That's basically um, the way I see it. That's like having brain rot to a certain extent. And when you go on SR, it literally, it, it heals your brain. That's what it literally does. Heals your mind, your spirit, and your body all around. That's why you're able to produce a glow to yourself because you're letting the vitamins and minerals from your life force reabsorb in your body. And people that don't operate on SR don't understand this because they're depleted and got that form of brain rot, as I like mm -hmm. to say, so they can't fathom or understand that because they're so deep into operating that way every day it's an addiction yeah. bro and when you uh break that shit and go on sr for like yeah like you said a week or two even eight seven or eight days you'll notice a whole difference in your performance in life and you will feel all around better about yourself and you will be like dude this shit is real because the way i feel is weird but at the same time i'm i feel alive and i'm doing stuff that i didn't do when i was addicted to the corn sites and fornication all the damn time lust in general 
yep. you're having the gargoyles and shit or whatever this dark energy is around us that we have when we're operating in lust when you stop doing that go on sr for a bit and let your brain heal some it's a whole different ball game out here and you'll notice that you'll become a savage out here and linking up with other people that operate that way synchronizing and it's a blessing to do that bro that's why we um I'm glad we're doing what we're doing today, talking about this because we want we want our fellow gentlemen out there to hop on the train, and let's take off and go straight to the top where we belong. Absolutely, that's why I say it's like a cheat code. You know, it's like something that you you know you, you don't you don't even know is there until you actually try it. That's why that's part of the reason why I like to make content about this topic is because it's so powerful once you actually do it, bro. You know, and it's one of those things that people are very skeptical about, you know, and then right. it's like once you try it, it's like, oh, my gosh, you know, it's 90 <laughs> days. So that's why, uh, you know, I, I that's why I make so many videos. And that's why I love doing these podcasts with you is because I want to plant the seeds, bro. You know, I want to be the guy that's spreading all these seeds, you know, for people to for young men and you know people who might be lost to to change their lives you know through semen retention because it will heal it will heal your mental spiritual and physical health it heals all yes. areas of your life so it's a very it's a, he, a very healing journey bro the whole bundle package it will just heal you all around and your whole aura around you will just start glowing out here like a super saiyan for real mm -hmm. and yeah, that's a blessing, man. That's why I'm glad we're talking about this now. Because we was in spiritual death out here in lust. Basically trapped on the lust level off of it, off of Dante's Inferno. Shout out to the Dante's Inferno fans out there. You know, the seven sins or seven deadly sins, we were stuck on lust, fam. Yeah. Absolutely. And I was stuck on smoking weed. I was stuck on going out to bars. I was stuck on yeah lust it, it was it was a whole a whole list of things that were keeping me way down shit same with me i was out there smoking like a damn chimney out there smoking like snoop dogg and shit you know what i mean and drinking alcohol like stone cold steve austin you feel me just yeah. out here just all around low <laughs> vibrational and don't miss doing that either i don't yeah. miss none of that i'm i'm happy no. being sober and out here being a damn savage bro as far as the spirit goes the mind goes and the physical goes working out every day like we talked about earlier and just all around just being on routine and discipline fam and connecting with yeah. you of course and other sr journeymen absolutely my dude this is the best trust me i've tried it all i've tried every every lifestyle you know drinking and smoking i've tried other drugs psychedelics being on sr and living a righteous lifestyle is the best is the best thing that you can do. I've tried That's them the all. Truth. I've yeah. really tried all of them, and nothing nothing beats being on SR, being disciplined, and being tapped in with God. That's the truth, bro. Because when you go on SR, everything becomes way more vivid. It's because you're healthy, bro. You're you're healthy as hell out here, like very healthy, and your your vision and everything becomes way more vivid. On top of gaining this uh discernment and intuition mm -hmm. it's because you you're healing your brain you're healing everything in your body and becoming a light bulb out here nervous yes, system sir. all that yes sir my boy my goodness dropping <laughs> bombs out here yeah man we uh just that was that was the end of it that's uh that's the end of the episode great job to you as well bro this has been a, a great episode once again man and uh shout out to all the retainers Shout out to all you guys, the female Jedis, as my boy always likes to say. Shout out to you guys, too. So much love coming from your boy, Subconscious. Absolutely. And coming from Spirit War Martin, much love to everybody out there rocking with us. And uh, we all around love everyone that tunes in. You know, we just grateful being here today, doing what we do on the podcast, talking about the SR journey, real life things out here, and just all around being synchronized with other people out there that understand and can relate to what we talk about on this podcast so people out there don't feel alone going on their journey yeah that's a blessing fam and you know great job to you this episode man i'm just blessed to be here with you bro as the dudley yeah. boys slamming the enemy through the table 3d 
Absolutely, man. Well, much love to you and much love to all the viewers, man. If you guys have made it this far in this episode of the Unchained Podcast, shout out to you. You're a real one. And we salute you for show. It's the Unchained Podcast, episode 127. My goodness. Oh, we. All right, man. man. Well, I will uh, be in touch with you as always, my boy. And great job once again. All right, man. Yeah, great job to you, too. And I can't wait to spin this episode back, fam. You already know. I'll talk to you soon. All right, brother. Talk to you later. All right, buddy. Peace out. Peace.